What is going on guys? My name is 4G, so today I wanted to make a video talking about Fortnite Chapter 2, or rather the OG Fortnite Chapter 2 mode or season that will be coming very, very soon. So I wanted to go over the things we do know, and I just wanted to speculate some things as well. Um, but basically, the first thing, let's just get right into it, is the fact that we will be seeing it this November. That is going to be happening for sure, and we do know this because of all of the different leaks that have happened over the, well, mainly the roadmap. That is the main leak right here. But the roadmap absolutely absolutely confirmed everything. It was such a big leak that it almost felt like it was on purpose. I'm not saying it was, but it almost felt like it was on purpose because of how accurate this leak was. It basically showed absolutely everything that was coming out for Fortnite for the next couple of months. And this came out at the beginning of 2024. So we now have seen basically everything that has happened and it's been confirmed. It already happened pretty much. Everything lines up correctly with this leaked roadmap. So with that being said, we will be seeing a chapter two OG season. It's kind of funny that they haven't said anything yet about it. I mean, I guess it's not really that crazy because they don't usually tease a brand new season until the next season is just about to come out, actually, now that I think about it. But either way, point is, we will be seeing Chapter 2 return very, very soon. Now, if you told me this a few years ago, I would not be that excited, to be completely honest, because there was a good long duration of time where I was so sick and tired of Chapter 2 because of the lack of map changes. They did some changes here or there, but there was never any POI changes past, like, Chapter 2 Season 2 or Chapter 2 Season 3. Past that they just stopped doing big map changes and none of them really stuck with the map even if they did something it would just be removed the next season which was really boring and I'm glad that they don't do that anymore I'm glad that they went the total opposite they now keep the map changes and at the same time we're getting a brand new map every single year and it's why I'm glad that they get brand new chapters I know some people are mixed on that they like the chapters being a little longer because well I mean I get that I do understand especially if there's a map that you really do like like for me chapter four I like that map a lot it's kind of a shame that we can't play on them anymore but here's the thing, map rotations, and hopefully we do see that since Fortnite Reload is going to be getting that very soon. But either way, going back to the Season OG stuff that we'll be seeing, Chapter 2 is a very big chapter, as I said. There's eight different seasons. We will not be seeing all eight of them. We're only going to be seeing the first three, which honestly, in my opinion, is completely fine. I do think that some of the later seasons, like Season 7 and Season 8, were pretty good, but we're not going to be seeing those. Uh, but Seasons 1, 2, and 3 probably were the best. Season 1, not really anything that special, to be completely honest. The only thing unique about that season was the fact that it was the only chapter two season to have the spike trap weird thing to remember i guess but i really did not like the spike trap back in the day so i was so glad when they removed it with chapter two season two but regardless there was nothing really that unique far as i'm aware uh, no mythic items were a thing yet at that point that was not added until the next season so i don't really know what's going to be special about that in particular i guess it's just going to be the basic chapter two experience that's really it i guess that's what makes it unique the fact that it was basic and then we'll get the chapter two season two mythics and all the different POIs that they added within that season, which is going to be kind of cool, honestly. I talked about how that was an overrated season in a video that people really did not like. They really, really, really are passionate about that season, which is kind of funny to me because in the moment, it was not that great of a season. But all the problems that I've had with that season would not be a problem if they condensed it into one season. For example, like Aim Assist was really broken at that time and it was not fun to play against. It was not fun to play against people L2 spamming with the Midas drum gun, for example. But that really won't be a problem anymore because Aim Assist is completely different to how it was back then. So that's just one of the things that I talked about in that video, and it won't be a problem. And overall, Chapter 2 Season 2 is not a bad season. It's just that it was overrated in comparison to uh, what people make it out to be, is what I'm just trying to say. It's not like the best season, in my opinion, that's why. But either way, moving forward, we have Chapter 2 Season 3, which I am incredibly hyped to see, because Chapter 2 Season 3 was actually my favorite Chapter 2 Season, and the reason for it, wow, what a crazy thing, uh, is because there was insane map changes. We had a bunch of brand new POIs, which I don't know what happened, to them why did they just went off the map after the season ended but whatever things like the fortilla for an example that was added with this season and it was i mean it wasn't the most memorable poi it was mostly the fact that the entire map was flooded and it was probably one of the coolest things they've done when it comes to a brand new map change like this was pretty cool especially because it drained over the course of the entire season nowadays they got tifu running around playing chapter two season three in real life which is actually pretty sad. But either way, point is, this was an awesome season. Having the map drain slowly over time was really awesome as well. The battle pass was pretty solid. So I'm pretty glad to see 
them going back to these certain seasons. Anything beyond that chapter two, season four, they're not going to do that. We just had a Marvel, or we're currently in a Marvel season. They're not going to do another Marvel season within that. And also, I'm not sure they could even do that. I'm not exactly sure how that would work licensing wise and everything like that. I'm sure Disney would love it though. They love their Marvel collabs. But anyways, season five, kind of boring. I don't really remember much about it other than it was when they really ramped up certain item shop collabs like Gaming Legend collabs, for an example, and The Walking Dead. So, you know, honestly, that was fine, but really nothing that special other than the skins that they released during that season. Season six, known to be hated, but honestly, I don't hate it all that much to be completely honest. I didn't think it was that good, but at least it had bony burbs, you know, at least we got that, which was actually not as good as I think there was Salty Tilt. That was actually better now that I think about it. Not like it was good, but it was better than bony burbs that they kept for the rest of chapter two for some reason. But anyways, I don't think chapter two, season six was all that bad, but understandable why people didn't like it because it was just, they added too much. You had to grind metal from cars and stuff in order to upgrade your makeshift weapons, which were absolute trash into something that is usable like a regular pump instead of just getting a pump. Well, if you did just randomly get a pump from a chest still, because you could still do that, well, you'd be at a massive advantage and it playing against that with a makeshift shotgun was not very fun. I'll tell you that much. And then the makeshift rifles and stuff that had no first shot accuracy. It was just completely bloom based. Yeah, that was terrible. Didn't like that part of it. But the reason I think that it's not the worst season ever is because of the special bows. There was special bows. It was basically like Derizendrock from Black Ops 3 Zombies. It was like elemental bows almost. They did different things and it was really fun. I mean, the main the one I really remember, to be completely honest, was the Shockwave bow because it was the absolute best one. And that's the only one I really ever used. But still, that was a really fun item. And I'm glad that that was added into the game. And I hope that they added in the future. It was quite fun to Shockwave people back into zone. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it'd be kind of annoying nowadays if everyone had them because Shockwaves are already kind of crazy to have, but I would not be against them unvaulting this bow for uh, a little period of time at least. But anyway, season seven, that was the alien theme. Not too bad, but wasn't anything that memorable, but it was still pretty fun. Last time they actually unvaulted the bolt sniper rifle, which is crazy to think. Why has it been since that season way back in 2021 that we've seen the bolt actually released in the game? Like I'm not counting season OG. That doesn't count. Obviously the bolt would be in the game, even though it was incredibly rare, even in season OG, like more rare than it was in the original chapter one seasons. I don't know what was going on with that, but either way, that was the last time the bolt was in the game. That's what I remember chapter two, season seven for, because I sniped a lot. And uh, I mean, now it's in the Fortnite reload, luckily, and I use that all the time. But still, if you want to talk about the actual regular battle royale, we haven't seen it in the game since chapter two, season seven. And then we had, of course, the really cool alien event where you go up to the mothership and then you get spit out and all the cubes are going absolutely everywhere. But here's the problem. That event did absolutely nothing. Did the gameplay is a better way to put it because the map was just red in chapter two, season eight. I like season eight because it was like an apocalyptic theme almost kind of and then you got the cube queen and stuff like that it was a fun season as well had a good battle pass or a decent battle pass from what i remember i i did enjoy it but i'm completely fine with not revisiting these seasons again at least not yet i'm sure they'll do it down the road where we'll swap what seasons are being played for the next season og i'm sure the next og season if we're not going to chapter three which i really hope we don't i don't really think chapter three or chapter four are old enough or memorable enough to go to a season og anytime soon at least in my personal opinion but either way i think if they don't do map rotations anytime soon. I think what they'll do, they'll bring back the OG map, but this time, instead of seasons 5 through 10, they'll do seasons 1 through 4, or 2, 3, and 4, maybe, because season 1's map was absolutely insanely basic. There was no POIs on the map whatsoever, but either way, season 2, 3, and 4, and we can explore and enjoy those maps and items again. And then the next year after, they go to chapter 2, and then we do seasons 5 through 8 or something, and then they just cycle that every other season or whatever. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. What do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you looking forward to chapter 2 OG? Or do you think that we should have seen chapter one return yet again? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you're new here and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.